Good evening. I'm Yurim Kim, Toyon Park, and Hyun Cho. <laughs> On the other day, I went to Starbucks and I ordered a strawberry smoothie. When I had it, I felt something wrong. I had no choice but to complain to the staff. <clears throat> Excuse me, what's wrong? I ordered a strawberry smoothie, but it tastes like paper. Um, smoothie is okay, but maybe it's because of the paper straw. What? Paper straw? <laughs> What's the problem with the paper straws? I will start with many stories about paper straws and plastic straws. Plastic waste con continue to increase these days. Among them, we are going to tell you about straws. Have you ever seen the picture of a turtle with a, stra with a straw stuck in its nose? You may be shocked by this sad picture. Plastic straws floating in the sea are becoming a serious problem with animals swallowing them incorrectly. In addition, plastic straws are thrown away because they are not recyclable. It's waste of resources and become microplastics in the natural environment. Paper straws have emerged as a solution of this problem. Many stores have started using paper straws since the introduction of paper straws at Starbucks stores in Korea in 2018. People believe using paper straws helps protect the environment because they can reduce the amount of plastic waste. According to this trend, the paper straw market has expanded enormously worldwide. Let me show you this graph. This cumulative vertical bar graph shows the amount of paper straws usage by reason. The horizontal axis represents the year, and the vertical axis represents the amount of paper straws used in million. In 2019, 585 million was used and in 2024, 1,687 million was expected to be used. It's nearly three times more than five years ago. Plastic is not only harmful when it enters the body, but also difficult to, difficult to recycle. It is also a major contributor to environment pollution and climate change. And many merits are replacing with plastic straws with paper straws. The biggest advantage of paper straws is that they decompose easily. Unlike plastic, which, which takes more than 200 years to break down, paper straws just do in a few weeks. It is not harmful, so animals eat them either. Then, are there only good things about paper straws? Can they be the answer to environmental problems? The answer is no. Paper straws also have disadvantages. Many people are dissatisfied with paper straws because they soon become mushy when they use. Some point out that paper straws rather pollute the environment. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, 907 kg of polypropylene a raw material of plastic straws emits 1.55 tons of carbon. On the other hand, 9.45 tons of carbon is emitted when we produce the same amount of paper straws. Then, you may ask, though it's not good to make, isn't it good to recycle later? The problem is that most paper straws are not recycled. According to Seoul Environment Association, they are small in volume and have food on them, making them difficult to recycle. They are not collected separately and discharged as general waste. Abandoned paper straws are incinerated instead of recycled, which adversely affect global warming. In this case, they pollute the environment even more than plastic straws. If incineration of paper straws continues as it is now, Paper straws may accelerate the environmental pollution. Uh, paper straws seem to be a solution to environmental problems. However, 
They pollute the environment even more than plastic straws. They emit carbon in all situations, such as during the process of making and after they are used, having no difference with ordinary straws. Eventually, they pollute the environment even if they are eco-friendly. We searched for various kinds of straws that can replace plastic straws. In addition to paper straws, numerous types of eco-friendly eco straws that have been developed, including corn straw, rice straw, bamboo straw, coffee puck straw, grass straw, pasta straw, and seaweed straw. However, there was little difference in the amount of emission of carbon during the production and incineration. Well, do you remember the title of our speech? What do you think is the wise choice for a straw after listening our story? We conclude that we had better not use straws. Let's not try to come up with a new straw together, but try to reduce the use of straw first. Isn't that the most necessary action for the environment? The climate crisis is not that far away. It is the problem we are facing right now. Reducing the use of paper straws will be beneficial for tomorrow's us not just for the next generations. We need innovative thinking to solve the problem. For innovative thinking, various situations are assumed and scientific technology is converted into engineering ideas. However, to stop global warming, like the straw story, it may be the most innovative idea not to use it for a sustainable environment for all. Thank you for listening.